Hey everybody, over the last few months I've been coaching beginner level Fortnite players, and I've learned a lot about the common mistakes that beginners make. So in this video I'd like to share my best tips for anyone who is just now starting to play the game. You should just give up. Oh no. First off, I have to say that today is the best moment to start learning the game. Everybody likes to talk about the skill gap and keeping up with the meta, but the truth is that Fortnite isn't getting harder. The best of the best players haven't improved all that much in the last year. If you started playing Fortnite three years ago, it was hard to keep up. Back then, we were learning new things all the time. Each day, you would hear about the new Tifu Classic, Mongrel Classic, Side Jumps, Triple Edits, Peace Control, and it was a lot to keep up with. But today, there's not much left to discover. That means that as someone starting today, you have all the tools you need to catch up to the experienced players and start enjoying the game at a more competitive and rewarding level. GG. The hardest part of learning Fortnite is knowing where to start. 90s and side jumps are fun, but they don't win fights. Almost all fights are finished inside a box. So your best first step is to learn to get comfortable there. A good box consists of four walls, two floors, two cones. All it takes is 80 materials, but most beginners end up burning through a lot more. If you try to box up after being shot, you might notice that sometimes your walls don't place close enough around you. From the edge of this tile space, notice how I have to aim straight down to place a wall at my feet. When you play Fortnite, you're always running up and down hills or swimming in rivers, so you have no idea where your walls will place around you. The only way to guarantee efficiency is to aim straight down and spin every time you have to box up. And you do have to aim straight down, 90 degrees towards the floor. If you aim even 5 degrees up from the floor, you might misplace a wall and get shot because of it. So practice. Once you can consistently build a box with just 8 builds, you're ready to learn how to fight from inside your box. Before you get started with different edits, you should set up an instant reset or scroll wheel reset for edits. On mouse and keyboard, all you need to do is choose a secondary binding for the controls building edit and reset building edit. I use mouse wheel down, so to reset an edit, I scroll one notch to start the edit and a second notch to reset the edit selection and confirm. If you play on controller, you can use emulation software like Antimicro to remap one of your controller button inputs to a keyboard output and achieve that same instant reset effect. Now back to the box. From inside, you have a bunch of options to edit and shoot opponents. Most of these options rely on the very strong right-hand peak rule, which exists because of Fortnite's third-person camera perspective. If you position yourself well enough peeking from the right side of cover, you can shoot a player without them seeing you at all. This right-hand peak rule allows you to win fights without ever taking damage. So in creative mode, practice shooting target dummies from different right-hand peaks inside your box. Edit a middle or right window, strafe, shoot, then duck behind cover, or reset the edit. While practicing peaks from inside a box, you should learn the two unique edit mechanics, blueprint edits and edit selection resets. Beginners always learn these tricks way too late. They make life so much easier moving forward, so please learn these. This is the most important part of the video, don't skip. Notice how as I confirm this edit and shoot the player, I can't reset the edit until I aim at the wall. But if I try to place a wall, pulling out the blueprint for the wall building, now I'm able to aim at any empty space and reset the edit. This lets you be way more efficient with your crosshair movement. If you practice, you'll be able to confirm your edit, shoot, and reset your edit without ever moving your crosshair off of your opponent. This blueprint edit also allows you to reset walls that you can't see because of your position on top or underneath a ramp. Blueprint editing also improves your reach. With a weapon or pickaxe equipped, you can't edit a wall more than one tile distance away. With blueprint edits, you can safely edit a wall while hiding behind another wall. Practice this early on and you'll become a monster in close range fights. The second edit mechanic that beginners always miss is selection resets. It's a super simple concept. By using your edit reset binding, you can change one edit into another without resetting an edit completely. This makes your editing much faster, especially if you play on higher than 20 ping. And it also lets you do a lot of useful things with walls and cones especially. For example, you can edit a peanut butter jump shot, then change this edit to a right window for your follow up. If a player dives inside your box, you can flip your cone like this without resetting the cone. 
you can edit one single tile of your cone to keep yourself protected and become a little more slippery in close range fights. As you grow more comfortable with box fighting, you can do tricky things like this. Stand against this back wall and phase this cone, flipping it with the selection reset. You can shoot and then escape out a wall. As you start learning how to climb for high ground, you can use this same concept to change cone edits to climb for high ground with one single edit. And finally, as you learn basic piece control drills, you can be more successful in situations where you ramp over a player or trap them in your builds if you can change one edit into another without resetting. Once you feel comfortable editing and peeking from inside a box, you need to practice against real players. The best way to do that is by choosing the creative play option to join a lobby full of players. Many of them will be complete noobs who don't build at all. That's what you want, real players who will let you get good practice playing from inside a box, working on your right hand peaks, your blueprint edits, and your edit selection resets. The last step for you beginners is to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because next week I'm gonna show you what to practice next. We're gonna learn the basics of climbing, tunneling, and peace control. If you are interested in private one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can contact me through our Discord channel or through email, both included in the video description. Or if you have a simple question, feel free to ask during my live streams at twitch.tv slash billy underscore bicep. Thank you all so much for using code Billy Bicep in the item shop. It really means a lot. And have fun practicing this stuff. Listen to some good music and make sure you practice hard so you can get ready for the new drills in the next video.